Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for what's holding up this union with your person. So we have it in the shape of an H for the holding up. <laughs> so, and this is for people that haven't had their person come in yet. What is holding up this union? What is the reason they haven't arrived? Why haven't they arrived? Ooh, we got a big story here. Wow, we have, ooh, we have miracles. There was some trickery, some gossip. Something was very bittersweet and somebody was despondent. So they were kind of ignoring someone. Hmm, my, my. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Ooh, balance. Okay, people look pretty upset in this. Um, <laughs> so whatever they're doing to balance this out, they've upset a few people here. Maybe having to walk away from a few people here. So it's just been a learning about a few things. Maybe avoiding something here. Maybe you. Um, finding out something that maybe wasn't true and then trying to balance it out and tell these people that what you're looking to do and I feel like in order to get this miracle this person has to walk away from some people here so that could be this is what's coming around right now like they're learning of this they're this has already happened, okay? So let's see what can be done to speed up the process here <laughs> for your person to come in. What can be done to speed up the process? Okay, this one wants to come. <laughs> round and round. So this person may be stuck in a karmic cycle and needing to let go of a few people. That might be pretty tough to do. So let's see, depends on who it is in their uh, energy could be mom and dad yeah there is an unfinished symphony and this may be a feminine or this is your person and they have that unfinished symphony with you if you are the feminine okay want to make a little bit of room and what's on the bottom of the deck oh yang so i might be talking to a yang and this is what's going on the yang is the masculine energy so they are in a karmic cycle there's unfinished business with you if you are their feminine okay so take it how it resonates you could be in your feminine energy they could be in their name and their masculine or vice versa just keep in mind okay so we have numbers we have number seven one two one so that could be another message for you as why this isn't coming in right away and what could be done to speed it up so what's the message you need to hear to know this is genuine what is the message you need to hear oh that one through over here oh happiness that this person's happy. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So they know that they're on the right path here, or you do. Take it how it resonates. And remember, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate for everybody. I have lots of lots of videos in on my channel that you can choose from that may be more suited towards what you're going through right now. If your person's already here or um, this is somebody you're married to, then maybe this one isn't you. Or maybe if you've split up, this could be somebody coming back into your life. So this could still resonate. There still could be messages here. So hang in there till the end if you want to hear any other messages that might come in for you. Okay, so somebody... <sighs> This is, this is how this person has realized something here. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So perhaps you weren't appreciated by this person. There was all these things, this deceit and 
trickery and gossip and bittersweet and avoiding and it was a miracle placed in front of them and all they had to do was balance it out and they didn't so they were stuck in that karmic cycle this could be a masculine that has that feeling of unfinished symphony with a feminine or vice versa happiness is right on the right path and this may be you and you may have lost somebody maybe you lost them um, or vice versa they lost you and maybe you were underappreciated or you weren't appreciating this person depending how it goes for you let's see ah, an imagination I embrace and nourish my creative aspect of my mind what was the question again this is me what do you need to know or hear for a message to know it's genuine so that you're on the right path that you understand losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so maybe they didn't appreciate you or you didn't appreciate them I understand to nourish the creative aspect of my mind so doing things that are creative that make you happy so what's on the bottom of the deck pride I love myself and I see myself in everyone so perhaps pride got in the way here for maybe both of you this is the combined energy you may be thinking about this person and they need to balance this for this to come in this is why it hasn't come in yet and I feel like it's getting up to that point now what do we have for is there something you can work on within yourself to help this situation is there something that you can do for yourself or on yourself within yourself to help with this uh, this situation oh there's blessings coming in for you there is a vision quest you are on your path and you have a vision I feel like you're doing you and and you've learned that self-love you've learned that about yourself how to to love self that what you want for yourself is the most of all important you shouldn't have to put your life on hold or do something that you don't want to do for someone else in order to be happy and there there should be a balance and that's what that came in for is that balance so let's see here whoa whoa, whoa another story okay so we have <laughs> emergence so whatever was hidden is now revealed okay with the dragonfly this is such a pretty card yeah emergence so dragonfly so whatever was hidden is now revealed so this person may be seeing this now you are seeing what your vision is and your blessings that are coming in you're going to see those Oh, somebody may, a new moon or this new moon, um, maybe within this month or the next month, if we've already passed by the new moon, um, you're going to have a promise by this person. The rain is going to help purify you. So you can go into the rain and if it, well, it's summertime here, so depending on where you live, <laughs> might be a hard one to get around there at that time for it to rain. So, and you're and you have good instincts. You you might be a lone wolf as well is kind of what I'm getting. You like to be alone, or you like your alone time. So, that's such a pretty card too. I love that card anyhow let's get on with it so, okay what's the next one your person on your person's end have what do they have to do to bring this into fruition for them to be able to come forward what do they have to do oh they might have to find a purpose or their purpose they know what they're here to do oh okay so they're on their end they know that there's a purpose so and they know what it is so what else do we have for that for this to come to fruition ah there needs to be some honesty here they know what they need to do and it's be honest with you so honesty is here with that purple it reminds me of the 
crown chakra. Maybe they're connecting to their higher self or to spirit. That clear knowing, clairvoyance, claircognizance, balance. Look at that balance coming out once again. I bring the state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Well, that's beautiful because really, who are we to judge? We're not the ones... We're, we're supposed to be looking after our own life. We're not supposed to be worrying about what everybody else is doing. Concentrate on what you're doing for you, for your life. And don't worry about what everybody else thinks or they're doing. And it's when you bring in other people's opinions that the influence starts where they are trying to influence you in the way that's going to maybe suit them best. Whereas you want that influence of going within your own self to know what you really want to do and follow what you want, right? It is your life. You only get one, right? Woo! Okay, so there was some envy here. Now, this could be somebody in their energy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And this could be them. Now, remember, the question was, what part can they do? So maybe they're envious of you at some point. And patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So knowing that divine timing is coming and <laughs> wanting to speed it up, <laughs> there's not much they can do. Uh, not much you can do. You're going to have to have that divine timing. So it's spirit says it's it's perfect timing when he says or spirit says unfinished symphony. So they know that they have something that's unfinished with you. So don't you worry about that. Let's see success. I know there is no greater goal than to love. So they know that love is the highest frequency. They know that what they need to be doing here. And they know they have to be honest with you and tell you how they feel. There's envy here, patience. They need to be honest and be in their purpose and be patient. They're working on themselves, it looks like. So let's see here. What else do we have? I'm going to have to do this a little differently with these cards. Okay. Is it still an H? <laughs> All right. What is the reason your person's going to give you when you first see them about why they didn't come in until now? Hmm. They felt it was a risk. Okay, they're t well, maybe they're taking the risk to come to you. Maybe they gave up a whole bunch to come into this new beginning. Wow. The reason they're going to say is that this is their fulfillment. This is what they've always wanted. This is something that they know that they're supposed to be doing. Wow, this is a blessing. I can't make this up. How can I, I you know, we got blessing here. We've got, you know, happiness. We've got imagination. There was something bittersweet, unfinished symphony. There's success and balance and purpose. Give me one more. Yeah, and you're protected. Oh, I love it. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ah! <laughs> I can't make it up. Abundance. What? <laughs> Look at this. This is so beautiful. So when it does come in for you, whoever this is. Now, maybe the reason they didn't come in was because of all this gossip and bullshit here. This trickery and crap. Somebody tricked them into thinking something about you. Now, this is Unfinished Symphony, so I believe this could still be a, a new person. It could be somebody from your past as well. So, But whatever this is, like within the next little while I'm getting here, by it's going to land on close to a new moon or on a new moon or after the new moon. So let's see here. How will this impact you and can you trust this? Spiritual strength. <laughs> Spirit saying, yeah, well, if I'm bringing it in, of course you can trust it. 
Recognition and reward. Wow. You will be recognized. Patience and planning. 937 might be of significance. We're going to get one more. Oh, okay. Emotional loss and sacrifice. What's on the bottom of the deck? The waiting game. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so there will be recognition and reward. There's spiritual strength here. There's patience and planning. You may have suffered an emotional loss or this person is going to tell you that or you may feel this loss that you had and all the sacrifices you gave, okay, for waiting for this person to grow up or learn lessons or knowing they needed to learn something in order to come forward. So take how it resonates for you. So sometimes you have to lose something in order to appreciate it, right? So I'm feeling with this you're you've gotten you're on your path so however this person comes in with this information of what they're going to tell you the reason okay that they they took the risk for a new beginning to hit fulfillment they feel like it's a blessing they may even want to protect you from everybody else and they feel this is abundant this is beautiful this is happiness at its fullest like you can't get it any better than that and spiritual strength here and recognizing and the rewards that you'll get from this you need to patience and planning and realize the feelings you feel of possibly this emotional loss that you had maybe they walked away from you maybe they ghosted you and what you sacrificed and how long you waited for maybe it's been two years maybe even more let's see here action or emotion does this person have what is their action or emotion this person has or feels ah, the first chakra Archangel Michael this is the root chakra and it's about insecurity and maybe the loss of identity okay and number eight that's about taking that action to and resolution to resolve something here so and happy family oh wanting that happy family this person has the emotion and feels that this is going to be such a happy family and that their their insecurities or yours and that loss of identity because it may not have just been you it could have been them as well where they felt they lost their identity along the way oh wow <laughs> they feel the emotion of feeling like you're an angel of love that you know what love is you know how to give love love is all you know and love is what you give and you maybe they had to lose you to find out what love maybe really means we have 13 which is 4 which is stability so they know that love is the highest frequency and that this is true love I feel yeah the thinking woman <laughs> now this is number 11 the ascended masters okay and with the thinking woman I'm going to suggest not to think too hard or long over this. Let's see what comes up. Man holding a heart. So this person truly loves you with the nine. This is fulfillment. What's on the bottom of the deck? The thinking man <laughs> with number 10. So whatever thoughts they may have had that were bad about you, they no longer have with the number 10 there. I feel like this is over in their mind about these thoughts you're both thinkers though so you're both you may have that intellectual uh connection here and with the thinking man it's i feel like it's this purpose they're going after and this is they feel this is your, their purpose to be with you there's something you're both meant to do here. I'm kind of getting that. Let's see. Um, 
What love emotion is here for you guys? What's the love emotion that's here? What is the love emotion here? <laughs> All right, this could be the one, and it is safe for you to love. That's so beautiful. And we have free yourself. So perhaps you haven't taken control of your life or this person hasn't and now they have and it's time to take back that control so yeah this person's coming in very soon and you're gonna get to know each other so maybe if you haven't seen this person or you've never really known this person calling in your soulmate so I feel like you need to call them in call them in maybe that's all you're needing to do in order for this to come to fruition this is maybe what you did <laughs> and maybe this is why they're coming in let's have a look and see what we have what is the heart going to reveal here matters of the heart let's see what are the matters of the heart beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection this is a twin flame wow okay so this is your twin flame that explains the thinking woman and the thinking man this totally makes sense besides that we also have the man holding the heart and the angel of love and i feel like this is kind of a lot of love going on here you both have that love you both have that loss of or insecureness that you felt and you want that happy family that's what you're looking for everybody to get along and learn to love one another healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed at this very moment and what else for the matter of the heart let's get to more a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you oh that's so beautiful and then we have let there be closeness between you but always give each other space Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. And what is the combined energy? Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So don't try to control the situation. Maybe they need to look at that too, not to con try to control it. Just let it go and let it flow. Let's see what spirit want to say here. Crystals. The energy of crystals supports and helps you with your present situation. So that's cool. And charge up your crystals. And whoa, I got a whole bunch that are the wrong way here. Emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to all of us. It may tire you. So you need to protect yourself from that. Call back your power. Call back your strength and your love and your energy to revitalize regenerate regenerate and um have that fullness again once again and like you're a full person once again because you put out that energy you need to call it back right so let's see and we have mediumship wow so you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones and you may have that clear audience or that clear knowing or that clear voice yeah you might see you might hear you might taste or touch things and get messages there's some type of definition here visualizing success see yourself doing well in the situation and have faith in a positive outcome so always the having that whatever you put out there remember that positive and reinforcement of that positivity every day that you're good enough that you're loving that you are beautiful there there's so many things that you can kind of say i thank you universe show your gratitude you can have that money situation always coming in and pouring into you that 
unexpected and expected income coming in all the time. And love, that, that clear love coming in and that your health is good and whatever else you want to bring in for yourself, okay? And bottom of the deck, shield yourself, protect yourself from harsh and fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So step into that orb of light that is grounded to the earth and feel that protection. Know that you're protected always. Be grounded. Get into nature a little bit more. Let's give a couple cards just on the, the main piles, the top decks here, the combined energy between the between you. And then we'll do that with the uh, after tarot here. So we have balance. Yeah, somebody is working on this. So there you go. He's actively working on this if he is a masculine. If he is a feminine, if he <laughs> if it if you are the feminine, you're working on this if this sounds like you. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Tell me about the masculine energy. Yeah, coming in to give that offer. There's that unfinished symphony. What is this pride here? Perhaps pride got in the way here. Ah, wanting to give that equal give and take. There's no, yes, there's boundaries though. And I feel like that's probably on both sides here, respecting each other's boundaries. So what is the wolf here? Tell me about the wolf. Wow, look at the instinct of happiness and marriage with you. Oh my goodness, this is a blessing, a vision quest, emergence, which is that whatever was hidden is revealed now. This, what is this again? Promise. Maybe they were promised to have this, this loving and happiness in their years to come. I'm getting, yeah. All right, so this is success. Having to walk away from somebody here to get that balance. Yeah, waiting for their ships to come in, or you are. What else? Yeah, there had to be an ending before a new beginning can come. I believe we have a new beginning here. <laughs> yeah, new beginnings. So that ending is very important that this ended. And that there is boundaries here for whoever this was in the past, right? Yes, look at that. Crying over spilt milk. Let's look at the abundance. Tell me about the abundance. I want to know about the abundance. Tell me about the abundance. Yeah, this person's coming in full force to fight for you. And <laughs> I usually say fight with you. And sometimes that happens like, but this person I feel is more wanting to come in. They're seizing the moment. They may be a little abs assertive. They're taking action and they're taking a risk. They're ready for battle for whoever. <laughs> they want to be a team player, a teammate. They know this is a blessing they're taking the risk to come this fulfillment protection yeah they have anxiety about this and they're making a judgment call i feel like with the judgment here this is transforming this is a calling a purpose a good judgment call i feel like this may be spirit calling them in you've called them in if you've done this um calling in your soulmate What's the waiting game? Yeah, I feel like you might have been feeling like you've been waiting for this person. You may have felt bad about this, your emotional loss about this person not coming in and uh, sacrificing something here. Look at this. They're coming in passionately for you with the Knight of Wands. This is taking action, charging ahead with that passion, that adventureness. That energy of get up and go, inspired action. They're inspired to come. Charging ahead. I love that. What's this thinking man? What's the thinking man about? <laughs> I love it. 
taking that leap of faith, baby. <laughs> Let's free yourself here. I feel like this is how knowing that you loving self, them loving self, knowing that you both like your own life, but you're also together. So meaning that when you're not together, you're still together, but you're just having your own time doing things that you want to do <clears throat> and still being in the code of a relationship. Like, don't get me wrong, just because you're on your own doesn't mean that you can go and do nasty things with someone else and expect this person to stick around. Uh, what I'm saying is if you have hobbies or what you want to do, and uh, you have that alone time. Maybe it's just to do, sit there and play video games, whatever. So having that alone time is important to both of you. So you don't lose yourself in the other person, becoming what the other person wants you to become. Staying strong to who you are as self. And don't, don't try to please this person by cutting yourself off to please them be who you are authentically in all aspects if you're worried they're gonna run away because you're being who you are they were never meant for you then right but spirits bringing this in so this is all gonna work out just surrender and go with the flow don't have any expectations of where this has to go don't try to steer the narrative and don't project anything onto this person just be and have fun and enjoy each other's company work shit out all right let's see what's for yourself yeah having that different perspective okay like really taking the time to see the future with this person like how it could really be and, and not holding it to that vision it's going to go where it goes. I mean, you can have goals and dreams that you want to get to, but you have to accept them for who they are and know what you're getting into of who they are. If, if this doesn't mesh good with you, then walk. There's nothing that says you have to be with somebody because of dating them that doesn't mean that you have to be with them you can say no this isn't working out for me uh and you know sometimes masculines me even feminines it's not just masculines um rejection can be very hard to take and sometimes they go overboard with trying to make you look bad which is not the right thing to do because that all comes back around as karma and it comes back to you tenfold so always be kind always be loving and if it doesn't work out so what there's someone else there for you okay so let's see what this surrender is yeah there's some healing here this is um how do i put that um having the faith having that calling hope and promise and healing guidance and just knowing that this is all going to work out. This is analytical. This is, the star is Aquarius. This is all about thinking, <laughs> which is kind of funny because with air, that's what the swords are. It's all about thinking. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay. So shield yourself. So there could be some deception somewhere here. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Tell me about what, what is this? Eight of Wands in reverse. This, this, I'm kind of getting here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is family money or a legacy being built here. You're both very sensitive to energy. And I feel like protecting yourself and shielding yourself from any uh, deceit will help 
so it doesn't come in. It'll keep it away. Eight of Wands. In reverse. I'm kind of getting with that. Unprepared. Something. You may not be prepared for any deceit coming in here. Somebody's going to be schooled or learn something here. What's going on here? Somebody might be coming in with some deceit here. What is this? You're a sweetheart. I feel like you're a sweetheart here. Yeah, there's that deception. The Seven of Swords. What is going on here? Give me another one. Okay. Give me one more. <laughs> okay, so there may be somebody that is deceitful that is also going to come in with an offer. They see you as sweet. You're good all on your own. Let me just look here. Okay. It, <laughs> something's not going to come in for deceit here. It's or you're not prepared for some type of deceit. You're a sweetheart, and somebody's doing something that is shady ass behavior. You're good all on your own, so you can walk away, heal something for something else to come in. This could be two people here. One that's coming in that isn't any good for you, and one that is. Or you're meant to walk away from somebody and then call in your soulmate. That could be what this for yourself is all about. Take it however it resonates for you. Yeah, the wheel's turning in your favor here. Wow, marriage is on the table. Wow, you're very beautiful. I feel like you might be the empress coming as part of this because you're coming in as two um, different queens unless this is the other person. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of getting a couple different things here. This could be the other person that they may already be married to. And you may find this out. And you might have to walk away from this person. Wheels turning, and it looks like you, somebody wants to marry. They're bringing, someone's bringing another offer here. Yeah. This could be somebody that broke your heart before. Nightmare. Somebody that was maybe a nightmare. You had a wall up from this person. Yeah, this is an ending. Ending of this love union. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that decision. There is there is somebody here that does love you, and you love them. And then there's also somebody here that is wants to take you for a ride. And you're going to end it with somebody, heal something, and take the other offer. Or you're going to take the offer, realize something, and then end it to take a and then decide about another offer. Yeah, there's a new passionate beginning coming in. So, <laughs> wow. Well, let's cut the deck one more time. Yeah, you might end up staying single um, before this passionate new beginning comes in. You might not be able to take 
Yeah, look at that. Pat, two aces here. Two blessings. There's a king of swords here. An air sign. So, let's just see. Somebody's working on something here. There's an ending. You walked away from somebody. You're waiting for something. Something ends. Crying over spilt milk. Somebody wanted to fight for this, being anxious, making a judgment call, coming in, wanting to take that leap of faith, having a different perspective about things, healing things. Yeah, you know you're good all on your own. You don't need anybody. But you want to have somebody here. There's another person here. You're good all on your own. You're looking for that 10th cup and you're, you're fine by ditching this cup. Healing this. And then there's another cup coming in here. This is somebody that's vulnerable, emotional, loving. Because there is somebody here of deceit that you may not be, un this is unprepared for. The wheel is turning in your favor when it comes to marriage. You're very beautiful. With the Queen of Wands, you're very confident, determined, and fiery, that feistiness. So you're going to do what you want to do. You're not going to accept anything less than what you deserve to have. And I feel like you may have accepted less in the past. And I just feel like you're just, you're done with that. You're over it. It's like, I'm tired of all these uh, immature little boys. I want a man. I want a man. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, you're tired of the heartbreak. This could have been somebody you were married to or there's marriage coming in for you you're still have a broken heart from whatever this is this deception you might even be kept awake over this you have some walls up again but you're still moving forward you still believe in love there's a decision to make about an ending the world card here. And I mean, the world could be being on the right path, being charming, having that purpose, tying up loose ends, this completion. This could be a completed cycle, but it has to be a choice. We have the throat chakra and shield yourself. Angels will help you lovingly speak your truth. So you're going to say what you need to say here. No matter who it is, you may even get married to this person and have this heartbreak when you're married. You might find out something here and it have to end it. But once you do and you're free and clear, there's someone else that wants to give you a love offer and have this new passionate beginning with you. Wow. Okay, let's quit dwelling here and get on with it. Yeah, that equal give and take. You want that truth. <laughs> you can come forward, but I want truth here. You have boundaries, equal give and take. This person might be kind of looking at the cups behind them. This could be you. Yeah, you're healing some heartbreak. And we have, you're bringing, you're pulling down your walls there with the nine of um wands you have somebody else there helping you pull those down it's an emperor wow okay somebody's working on something here maybe an ending they feel like they've picked the right cup or you do this is somebody from your past maybe you're not going back to the past yeah this is somebody that maybe left you out in the cold when you needed them the most what is this perspective here? King of Pentacles. I kind of felt there was a couple people here, but this could be 
the emperor as well. But there's a decision you're going to have to make. Yeah, you put this to bed. To rest. You may say it's over. Yeah. There's some love coming in here for you though. Yeah, somebody's watching you. Ah, there's that Ace of Pentacles. We have three aces here. Wow. Holy hell. And marriage. I can't make this shit up. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, being patient. Being in the flow. Being at peace. You may have a couple different people coming in. Or this emperor is coming back again. You may have already put this to bed with somebody here. And you're waiting for that person to come in. The one that you're meant to be with. These things may have already happened in some point here. Depending on where you are on this timeline. Sometimes people feel that because you are nice or loving or kind that you can be manipulated and that is just not the case. You are good all on your own. You're looking for that. You want that. You don't need it. You want that. And you're, you're fine with walking if that's what has to happen. Yeah, you'll heal again and you will see who else comes in for you. I feel like you are at a point where you're just wanting that connection that is out of the park, like out of this world kind of. And whatever is coming in that you just don't accept, you're not going to accept it. You may have already, you might be over this already. Like you may, even if this person comes back, you might have already said to yourself, I'm not going back to this person. I'm not going back to the past or I'm not doing this. And this is something that has to happen here is this maybe 10 of Pentacles with this deception to happen that you're unprepared for. For this wheel to turn in your favor when it comes to marriage. Maybe there's another person here. And it does break your heart. And maybe there is a third party. Maybe you do come into union. Somebody's watching all of this. They want to give you an offer of marriage. They may have wanted to marry you and maybe you take the wrong offer. Not that it's wrong. Because every decision we make gives us an opportunity to learn, right? So even if it's to learn what you don't want, <laughs> it kind of reaffirms what you do want. So, wow. I kind of thought we would get a little bit different answer, but it just keeps coming to a certain point and stops. It's like spirits like, Get over it. It's divine timing. <laughs> It'll happen when I want it to happen. So quit trying to make it happen. Yeah, you're going to take that offer. You've got financial success coming in. Somebody's going to come in to fight for you. Yeah, right now it's maybe an empty victory. Because, yeah, there's that lover's twin flame. There's a twin flame coming in. Yeah, somebody gets caught in the act this king of swords it's an air sign might be this king of swords that you go to after this king of pentacles might be the emperor he may show up in different parts of your life in a different like maybe money was major at that point maybe truth was important at one point and truth again there's a king of swords here twice so this king of swords I feel comes in after and fights for you after 
whoever messes this up. <laughs> and this part may have already happened. They may have already come back around. We might be at this part of maybe you already put this to bed and didn't take their call or their message. And now maybe we are at this point where whatever this deception isn't going to come in anymore. You pass the test. The wheel of fortune's here turning in your favor when it comes to spirituality, maybe even marriage. You're very determined, self-assured. You're good with who you are. You're confident. You're fiery. This may be a thing, ongoing, not enough sleep because of wondering about this person coming in. But this person is watching you. With the Page of Swords, I mean, that is communication. It's useful information. It's about talking and communicating with somebody. There is marriage and a beautiful offer here. It's going to be truth to it. This person is going to be single. It's going to be somebody that maybe has to free themselves first. Maybe the first time they didn't do that. And now they have the repercussions of all that. Maybe you didn't take them back. And now there's someone new coming in for you. Could be that this person has grown to become the emperor. After all this crud that went through here. They want to heal this. But I don't know if that's this. If this emperor did all these things to you. You have a right to call someone else in. And I feel like you did. They fumble eyed it. They weren't allowed to come back with you. Because we had somebody that can't come forward. That's delayed. There might be a lesson somewhere here or and it may not be for you it might be for your per this other person they may need to know what it is about appreciating somebody they may have to lose it lose you in order to learn that lesson and it might be that you move on with someone else and that is the lesson they learn that they coulda shoulda woulda and they didn't so you might end up with a king of swords instead of this emperor. And I feel like that is a good thing. Spirit's not letting this person come forward because they're acting like an emperor as if they already are. But I don't, I feel like they're still really immature if they're doing things like this. An emperor can still make mistakes and learn. So, but usually they have to become all those kings to be the emperor. And I, I just feel like they messed it up. They may have even been told that you were the blessing or that they realized you were the blessing. And now it's too late. It's put to rest. There's someone else coming in though. Wow, it's 53 minutes. Holy hell. All right, you guys. <laughs> I feel like we're right here. They're coming. Like, there's, you passed a test. This is the wheels turning now when it comes to marriage or spirituality. And it's like, whatever heartbreak you had and that, it's like you're, you're wanting this person to come in so bad. And they may be dealing with a broken heart from a queen of wands that they were married to. And they're watching you. And it's like I said before, if you are with somebody and living with them and in a relationship or even married to them, and you are thinking about someone that you've always loved, and see yourself with that person or want to be with that person, you're not giving your best to the person you're with. You're kind of wasting their time and yours and 
time is precious on Earth on the 3D. Okay, so I know time is uh, when we're in spiritual spirituality here. That time is time is limitless or infinity or whatever. But that is in the 5D, and time doesn't exist. So, but on 3D it does. And if you're settling for someone less than what you want or need or what your heart truly desires what are you doing there anyhow i can leave it there <laughs> and i'm not saying just to dump your person because you you know you think you might want to be with someone else i'm talking about somebody that you're with that you totally love and they're single and you're single and Maybe they were just a friend and you always wondered where it would go and you've always watched them on their social media or their <laughs> you've always kept up with them or looked in on them or there was there's a connection there and neither one of you kind of want to part from that connection then that is something right so anyhow Please like, share, and subscribe. And this is what's holding up your person. So we already know that this has happened. Now it's all about you being single, this blessing coming in, and this king of swords coming in with a passionate new beginning. So, and it looks like you'll come together. They were watching or they're going to communicate and offer you an ace of pentacles and even marriage. So, wow. <laughs> this might keep you up at night. Uh, <laughs> you're kind of wondering who it is. Is this somebody that broke my heart? Is this somebody that's going to, is a nightmare? Or <laughs> you might be wondering who it is. And I'm here to tell you that not to worry about what's going on with that try to remember that it's about being in the present um yesterday was history and tomorrow is a mystery so just be in the present be in the now right so anyhow take care stay blessed and we'll see you next time later